I'm Matt with Mr. J, and in this video, I'm going to cover how to add decimals. We have 12 and 8 tenths plus 9 and 275 thousandths. Now, the first thing that we need to do when adding decimals is set the problem up by lining up the decimals. So 12 and 8 tenths plus 9 and 275 thousandths. So the decimals are lined up and this is going to line up all of the places. Now this problem looks a little offset. 12 and 8 tenths just goes to the tenths place and then 9 and 275 thousandths goes to the thousandths place. So what we can do, we can use placeholder zeros in order to make this look a little more lined up. So all we need to do here is use two placeholder zeros after the eight. That way, that decimal goes to the thousandths place as well. And you can see that this looks a little more lined up now. It doesn't look so offset. Remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of the number. So 12 and 800 thousandths, 12.800, is equivalent to 12.8, 12 and 8 tenths. So we're not changing the value of anything here. Now we're set up and ready to add. We will start with the thousandths place. Zero plus five is five. Zero plus seven is seven. Eight plus two is 10. Then after the tenths place, we have the decimal. So we can bring that decimal straight down into our answer. Now we have one plus two is three, plus nine is 12, and then one plus one is two. And this is our final answer, 22 and 75 thousandths. So just remember, when adding decimals, line up the decimals when setting up the problem. Use placeholder zeros if needed, and then we can add. And always bring the decimal straight down into the answer. So the decimals are lined up throughout the entire problem. So there you have it. There's how to add decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.